Today I'm going to teach you how to use Photoshop. But before we start, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Photoshop. But before we start, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button so that you will be updated on every new content that I will upload on my channel. So to start, I will show you some examples first on what can we create using Photoshop. Okay? So you can create a tarpaulin that you can use for your school, your work. Okay? You can create tarpaulin for certain shops like a business like this one. I created this tarpaulin for the Sabella so that they can use it to showcase their the services that they are offering to their clients. Okay, so here are some more examples. You can create your own logo. Okay, uh, you can also create a, an invitation. Okay, now to start, you need to click the icon of Photoshop on your start button. Click, then look for Photoshop. So the the Photoshop icons looks like this. Okay, when you click that, Photoshop will open, and this is the graphical user interface of Photoshop. On the left side, you will see the toolbar. On the right side, you see the palette. Okay, so the toolbar contains tools that you can use to manipulate the different images that you're going to use for your work. Okay, on the left side, you have the palette where you can choose the colors. You can use certain commands to manipulate the settings of the image that you're creating. And you have, of course, we have the layers. Now, I'll explain layers later to you because layers are very important when it comes to using Photoshop. Okay, so first to create a new file, you click File, New. Okay, let's wait. There will be a, a dialog box that will appear when you can create or choose the size of your document. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, on the first part, you have name, so you can already type the file name that you are creating. Let's say, for example, I'm going to create an invitation. Let's type in invitation. Okay, for preset, this is where you can choose preset sizes of the paper for now we're going to use custom okay then make sure you click inches for the measurement so let's say for example I'm going to cre create the width is 10 inches and the height will be 8 okay for the resolution by default uh, Photoshop will give you 300 resolution but if your computer is slow you can lower the resolution okay you can use at least 150 but 300 is partly the best resolution so that your uh, image will not get pixelated after doing that just click ok wait yeah wait 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 medyo mabagal There. and here's our canvas okay now this is where you can put all the objects the images that you're going to import for your work so to import images or icons or clip parts or line art drawings in your photoshop all you could need to do is go to your folder okay for example i want to use this image okay this one just drag it going to your Photoshop okay don't forget to place it here on the gray or bar line okay you need to place it here because if you don't you you place it directly to the canvas this is what will happen okay just drag Yeah, magkakaroon ng X, no? So, don't do that. Just press escape. Para mawala. 
you need to place your images here on this bar line okay now let's go to the toolbar okay for the toolbar we have first the move tool now the move tool is very important especially if you're putting a lot of objects in your work okay you use the move tool to move objects now for example is anybody open this image and you want to put it here on your canvas so to, to move the object click the move tool then click the image and just simply drag it going to your canvas okay and release the left mouse button okay so here's our image now if the image is too big for the canvas what you need to do is press ctrl plus t to resize the image okay so just resize the image click the check mark here okay, so that the image will be placed okay. while the move button is selected now you can freely move the object or the image anywhere you want to place it okay then next we have the marquee tool now there are four types of marquee tool but the most common ones that are being used is the rectangular marquee tool and the elliptical tool okay so i'll show you how to use this one let's go back to the image okay then let's choose first the rectangular marquee tool okay in using the rectangular marquee tool you need to press the left mouse button then you put a frame around the object that you want to choose so for example i want to choose the uh, this part okay then again click the move button the, the move button or the move tool and drag it going to your canvas okay so there you have it and to resize it again press ctrl t okay. then you resize your image okay. then again press enter or click the checkbox okay again the next one we have the elliptical marquee tool so use the elliptical marquee tool if you want to select um, an oval or a circular selection so just create your selection you release your left mouse button then again click the move tool then drag the object going to your canvas okay. then resize ctrl t In resizing the image don't forget to press the shift key because if you're not going to press the shift key the image will be deformed so always press the shift key while you are resizing the image okay once done just click check or press enter okay and you place your image where you want to place it then next we have the lasso tool now there are three types of lasso tool we have the freehand lasso tool which is the first one and the polygonal lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool so let's i'll show you how to use that one so first let's try using the lasso tool or the freehand now for the freehand lasso tool you use this tool if you're going to select certain parts of the object freehand okay so you just draw an outline of what part are you going to select okay, then you release your mouse button again click the move tool then drag it going to your canvas okay, so there you have it again and then next we have the polygonal lasso tool okay for the polygonal lasso tool just click certain spots on the image Okay. 
So what you do here, just click every now and then the left mouse button every time you drag it on certain points that you would like to select and then you click the move tool okay just drag it there so there is or there you have it the polygonal lasso tool okay for the next one we have the magnetic lasso tool for the magnetic lasso tool okay you use that click one area then just drag your mouse on the part that you would like to copy or move okay. but me I don't use this that much because sometimes it, it's not that accurate in doing some selection okay. let's use the move tool again and drag it to your canvas okay so that's how you use the different types of lasso tool and then we also have the magic one for the magic one okay to deselect the object press ctrl d to remove the selection okay for the magic one click magic one and just click the area that you would like to have a selection okay now magic wand is just useful if you have certain fixed colors that you want to copy for images like this it's kind of difficult to make selection because it will only choose uh, certain parts that has the same color okay under magic wand we have the quick selection okay for the quick selection okay right click on the toolbar then click quick selection and then you just drag your mouse on the areas you want to select okay just drag it like that okay. now to remove some parts that you don't want to select click the minus button while the selection button the quick selection button is selected then you just deselect and yeah, click lang ng click okay, then you click the move tool put it in your canvas okay. then next we have the crop tool okay, for the crop tool, you use that to crop the canvas okay so how do we do that click the crop tool for example you want to crop this image okay. you want to choose crop it um, up to here only okay. click the or press enter on your keyboard And then you move your object. Okay. Then we have what we call the color or the eyedropper tool. You just use that to change the color on your color canvas. So just click certain parts and it will choose the color on the certain parts of the image that you would like to pick some color. For example, I want to get the blue here. Just click that and the color will change okay then next we have the spot healing brush tool for the spot healing brush tool for example to use that okay, let's press ctrl z to, to undo the changes that we made okay for the spot healing brush tool if you want to remove certain parts of the image that you don't want to see there you just simply click spot healing brush and just brush the part that you don't want to appear on the image okay, just wait for it okay. 
So that's how you use the spot healing brush tool. No? Then next we have the brush tool. So you use the brush tool to draw some lines on your image. So this is the brush tool. Then we have the clone stamp tool. To use the clone stamp tool, you use that to copy some parts of the image. No? So how do you do that? you increase the brush size first when you click here you just slide the slider okay then you choose your brush okay. for example we want to copy this part so press alt and you click that certain area that you want to copy then you release the alt button and you draw or drag your mouse while clicking the left mouse button so that is the clone stamp tool okay and then next we have the eraser so the eraser of course is used to erase some parts of the image okay so this is the erase or the eraser tool and then we have the paint bucket tool okay so the paint bucket tool is used to fill colors on certain areas you want to put some color for example we want okay let's hide this first you want to change the background into red okay so go to your palette color palette then you choose red and then you click the the paint bucket tool <coughs> and click your the area that you want to put color okay. if you want green just click green okay so or yellow then click the canvas okay so that's how you change the color using the paint bucket tool. then we have next we have the, the gradient tool for the gradient tool just click gradient and then you just slide it on your canvas okay so you the gradient will be applied on your image now to change the gradient color click here or double click the, the color gradient color okay, let's wait. and then change the color to add click here let's try putting some blue and click OK and just drag it like, to explain the layers we know we are going to do some changes on some other layers for example going to erase something on this image the layers at the bottom part will not be affected okay. so nothing will be uh, remove or damage on that part of the layer okay? and if you're going to move some object okay, the layers that is being selected that's the only one that you can move and that's also the only one that you can manipulate or do some changes so that's the importance of having a layer so that you don't have to redo the all, all the whole work okay so moving on for the text tool or type tool if you're going to add words in your uh, graphics all you have to do is click text or they simply call it type tool just click this one and you draw a box inside your canvas okay so let's try to type word just say hello world okay now to change the font style all you have to do is select or highlight the words or words and then choose the style or font style or font face that you are going to use for example i want to use cooper block okay so there you have it so cooper block and then you want to if you want to change the font size all you have to do is click here and then click the predefined font size for example size 48 or if you want to make it bigger but the font size is not on the drop down list all you have to do is click here then you type the font size that you want for example i want to use 120 font size okay and you simply click 
check okay so there you have it so then you need click to the move tool so that you can move around the word where you want to place it okay so again if you want to edit the text all you have to do is double click here on the layers menu click the, the text double click and it will be highlighted and the text type will reopen if you want to change the font color highlight the word again okay and then click the font color here and then you can change the font color okay for example i want to use red okay so there then just click okay okay if you want to change the alignment you can change it align left center or align right and when you're done simply click again the check mark or check button okay and you can move the word or text that you have put in your graphics or image okay now if you want to add more or extra special effects on the word or characters all you have to do is right click on your layers menu the word or the text then click blending option okay so click blending option and here you have different type of font effects or character effects or layer style effects okay for example i want to add shadow i click you'll click drop shadow then you can adjust the size of the shadow here you see it's changing and you can adjust the way how the shadow is spread you see that okay so that is the shadow you can also change the distance of the shadow away from the word and the angle of the shadow okay if you want to add stroke just click stroke and you change the the color of the stroke you see for example i want to use white click white then click ok and then change the size or the structure or the stroke of the stroke that you want to use for your layer style then you click ok when you're done okay so let's try to show again the pictures that we transferred so to show it just click the box here you will see an eye that will appear meaning this already being displayed okay now the the effects that we have used on our text layer we can also apply that to those the, to the images that you are going to import in your work so let's say for example i'm going to put some blending option here on layer 7 click that layer then right click click blending option okay say for example you want to put stroke just click stroke change the color okay. let's use white again and you click change the size okay and you can also put shadow or you can just try this time outer glow okay. so we're going to put outer glow change the spread of the glow here and you're, when you're done just click ok ok so that's it for blending option next um i have something more extra to, to show you in order for you to appreciate more the spot healing brush tool ok so this is the spot healing brush tool i will open a picture for you so let's just get the picture or the image ok and just drag it to your photoshop here on the bar line again as a reminder put it on the gray line or bar line here and release and then we're going to click the spot healing brush so for example you don't want this structure or object in your image so how can you remove that using photoshop all you have to do is click spot healing brush tool adjust the brush size here okay or you can also click short, the shortcut keyboard button to resize the brush by clicking the bracket the left and right bracket on your keyboard okay the left to smaller small uh smaller the size of your uh brush size and to increase the size is the right bracket okay decrease is the left to increase is the right bracket okay so let's just decrease, decrease it then just brush here you don't want for example you don't want this here just brush it put some brush 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 gonna earn 
and then there you have it so let's mo remove this again this one the line that one this one this one and that one okay and what if you want to remove this bigger object on the image is it possible yes it's possible all you have to is increase the brush size again and just brush on the object okay see you want to remove this just brush it okay. so there you have it isn't it amazing so i hope you learned something today um please do practice the tools that i have taught you and because on the next tutorial that I'm going to upload. I'm going to teach you how to create an invitation for a birthday or for a party. Okay? So do please do click the subscribe button and the bell button so that you will be updated if I have go if I'm going to upload new content for you. Okay. Thank you and goodbye.